So apparently the HUD, it's real and it's been out for a while now because this right here, guys, if you guys can see that phone, you probably don't know what that phone is. It's not an iPhone. It's actually called a nothing phone and it just recently came out in the US, but it's been out for a while in China. So I'm going to go over in this video why this printer is real and how it's going to change the 3D printing community forever. Warning, this is only for entertainment purposes only. Please do not sue me, Bamboo Lab. This is only speculations. This is not confirmed yet. All right, guys, so this is the nothing phone that I was telling you guys. This is just, just released in, in the US, but it's been out in China for a while now. So I know this is a, a legit photo from Bamboo Lab, this leaked photo. And they put that phone there intentionally to give you guys a timeline. I don't know if anybody knows anything about the nothing phones, but this is like a, um, a cheap version that is trying to compete with Apple. So just to give you guys a, um, a backstory about that phone if you guys never seen this phone or never heard about this type of phone before okay so let's dive into the information that we just received so in this picture it obviously gives you a size of the build plate it doesn't match up to the original so i think they changed the size of their printer mind you this came out the h2d this pamphlet came out like a year ago maybe more than more time than that and they've been holding back on this for a while now it has the AMS2, which we're going to cover in a second, which is up there. And there's a few things you need to see that is different. For one, the AMS system in this prick in this picture is a lot smaller because this is the original Bamboo Lab AMS system. This is the upgraded version, which is bigger. And it also has a heated chamber inside for a drying filament. All these dimensions are no longer valid because the build plate got smaller from the original that they had in in the beginning and there's a few other things that is different from the original which we're going to cover in a second but mainly first is that the two dual nozzle is confirmed we were talking about that for a while how they're trying to see if you see another picture of it you see how there's two bowling tubes going into the hot end or so yeah so there's two bone two going into there so you know there's two different nozzles so this is the article i'm going to put the link in the description of the article that shows the printer there are a few things you need to guys you need to like keep your mind open to is that there's talks about a laser on top of this printer like this unit here it can mount up there and you can use it as a laser cutting tool I know the telltale sign that this is possible, this laser. Look at the film on the on the glass. It's kind of like greenish tint. If you guys know anything about lasers, a laser can go can blind you if you look directly at it if you don't have that protective film. A safety feature that is required by law to put for uh, consumer grade lasers. And I'm wondering why would Bamboo Lab want to get into the laser business? It's because Bamboo Lab realized that the 3d printing market is very small and they already got all the customers they can reach i mean they're trying to get new customers and other companies the way that they go about it is by creating a cheaper option and trying to take customers from each other but bamboo lab is thinking about reaching other customers not be interested in 3d printers but they will probably be interested in lasers for example like if you look at this X tool is the most popular tool for use for like people that are cutting tool as a cutting tool slash engraving tools that people use for selling on Etsy. So they, they really see the potential of like helping Etsy sellers or these print farmers adding laser capabilities into their 3D print farms. That could be a boost in sale for them. They're, the average price for one of these is $5,000. So the people that are buying these lasers they're already spending this type of money and based on the leak it looks like their their pricing is going to be around that it's going to be around four thousand to forty five hundred it's not confirmed yet but this is a lot cheaper than this x tool if you think about it that you're getting a, a dual head 3d printer along with that uh, laser 
if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, you're getting more for your money if you get a laser and a 3D printer with a dual head. So here is, is also a video by the homie Kian. I don't know if you guys know Kian Prince. He's, he's pretty much like well known. He's really excited about the printer as well. Let me play a little bit from his video from the leak. Up top, we see an upgraded AMS with an HT at the end, as well as a screen that's got some numbers on it. Then just in front of that, there appears to be some piece of equipment or a module of some description. Could be a laser, could be unrelated, who knows? And finally, as some have pointed out, there looks to have been some reworking of the fans and venting on the inside of the machine. So that's the... Yeah, so that's the telltale sign that, that the laser is going to be part of it, because if you guys know anything about lasers, they need ventilation. They always have these big vent holes. Um, you can't really burn stuff and smell the fumes. It's unhealthy for you. you. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you guys would be interested in, um, including laser capabilities, or laser engraving, or personalization of your 3D prints, or something like that. I did see somebody uh, engrave something on a 3D print and it looked pretty decent so i don't know if that's a selling point to the printer i for me personally i don't know if i have any use for it there's not that much information other than what we got in this article i'm gonna put the article link in the description guys read it up do your own research stop relying on shield tubers like and subscribe let me know your thoughts catch you on the next one